Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Vanessa. Today I was going to work on a custom order for my shop. I have two I need to get done this week, but I was going to do one at a time. For the first custom order, I was going to recreate my affiliate lingerie set from my Zero Waste collection out of black velvet and black mesh as requested by my customer. I'm also going to be using the matching black bows, elastic, trims, and hardware. And as I'm making my customer's custom order, I'm also going to make an affiliate lingerie set for myself, but out of eggplant velvet, black power mesh, and I'm going to use the black elastic, bows, hardware, and trims. I really want to add the new fabric options for the affiliate lingerie set to my shop, so my plan is to make the set for myself and then plan a day where I can take photos, like put together like a mini photo shoot kind of thing. And then another day where I would do like all the promotional content and finally add to my shop just in case you guys watch this video and you feel like the affiliate lingerie set is so cute and you want it for yourself. I have a lot to do so I think I'm just going to get started. What I first have to work on is make the sewing patterns for my customer and make the sewing patterns for myself. Once I get those out the way I can start cutting and sewing. Also, if you haven't, uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm starting to post videos every week and I wouldn't want you to miss the next one. This is my customer's order and this is my lingerie set in the back. I cut all the velvet and mesh pieces. I also pre-cut some of the elastic. I have my little size tags, the garter clips, the little satin bows. I'll be using all the bra hardware and I even have the underwires. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and start sewing the scrunchies and the gift bags since those are super easy. And then I'm just gonna start sewing the juniper garter pin.
is everything I just finished sewing. These are the Dolly Thigh High Stockings in Black Mesh. They're a size large, extra large. The whole stocking is sheer and they have elastic at the top so it stays on your thigh. And these two little cute satin bows. These are the Juniper Garter Thongs I just finished. This one is made out of black velvet and black mesh. It's a size extra large. This one is made out of eggplant velvet and black mesh and it's a size medium. So the Juniper Garter Thongs, they have like this really pretty like ruffle elastic at the top. They also have detachable garter straps. So you can attach stockings at the bottom if you don't want the garter straps on you can take them off they have like a little hook on the top this is what the juniper garter thong looks like without the detachable garters if you flip it over the back is just made out of sheer power mesh and the inside of the gusset is made out of velvet Here is everything I just finished. Over to the left is the completed first custom order. We have the Ophelia baby doll, the Juniper garter thong, the Dolly thigh high stockings, and the emerald green scrunchie. For the Ophelia baby doll, my customer requested black velvet bra cups, and then the front band here is also black velvet. It turns into mesh at the sides and at the sides there is a little bow where the skirt opens up into a slit that literally starts from your underbust and then goes down to your hips. There is a slit on both sides. Both of them are topped with my little set in bows. The top of the baby doll has the new elastic I use. The straps here are velvet and also elastic and then it has these satin straps that come from the center of the bust up to the top of your collarbone when worn and then the back of the straps are fully adjustable i also added a little bow i'm really happy with how it turned out it's so beautiful and like this whole set together is gonna look so cute on i also wanted to mention for this custom baby doll i did use my sasha bra cups my sasha bra cups are from another design they offer a bit more coverage at the top and are more supportive for like fuller busts this is my original Ophelia baby doll from my Zero Waist collection. This one has balconette style bra cups, so they finish here, which like on when worn, it's like right above the apex. It shows a bit more cleavage. It's a bit of a sexier style, but I do feel like this style is more for like smaller busts, whereas my Sasha bra cups, they go up and then they curve out to the side. Those are better for like the fuller bust. This is what the back of the baby doll looks like open. So in the back, it has a adjustable plush hook and eye. When closed, it has a little loop here. And then um, if you open it, we have like my little tag. This is like the channeling for the underwires. You can see the inside is so clean. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> this baby doll looks so good. I like, I just can't wait for my cousin Ryder to try it on. I feel like she's gonna love it so much. It's absolutely adorable. I also wanted to mention this baby doll is a size 36C. So this is my completed set. I still have to cut and sew the stockings, which I'll do later, 
But for my baby doll, I did a size 32H. This is what it looks like. This is the eggplant velvet cups, the eggplant velvet center front panel, and then the mesh panels go off to the side. Like the other baby doll, this one has the little bows at the side seam, and then it has the slit that opens up from the under bust all the way down to the hip. It's so sexy, so cute. I absolutely love this part. This is my matching eggplant velvet scrunchie. I still want to make a mesh one. You saw my juniper garter thong earlier. I do want to show you the back of my baby doll. So it has the same thing, the hook and the eye in the bag. You can open it up. The inside looks absolutely clean and beautiful. I'm so proud of myself. And it still has the little keyhole back, which I absolutely adore. This is what the order looks like in the gift bag. This gift bag is a little larger. When I make these, I have like a normal size. And then I have like another size for garments that are like larger that don't fit in my small pouch, but everything is folded so nicely and so cute. I can't wait for my customer to get this. I just finished making the sewing pattern, so what I'm going to do next is cut a bodysuit sample out of this fishnet fabric. I've already started sewing the bodysuit. This is the sample sleeve I'm working on. It's already like too short. Um, if I pull it down to my wrist, it kind of goes like just above my elbow. I really want this to finish a bit higher because I'm going to be sewing it on to the bodysuit body. So I think I'm going to go ahead and recut this and just add like maybe an inch and a half here at the top because I do have to accommodate for seam allowance. And then I'm just, I guess I'll just recut and sew this. So let's hope the second sleeves turn out a lot better. This is the first bodysuit sample I just finished. This is the front of the bodysuit. It has elastic right here at the bust. These are the sleeves. I didn't attach them just in case I need to readjust the sewing pattern. I'm gonna try it on really quick and see how it fits. This is the first bodysuit sample I made. I put it on over my workout clothes since the fabric is sheer. The fit is okay. I do feel like it's a bit baggy here at the waist. I'm happy I didn't attach the sleeves because they are really short. It looks like I need to probably add about four inches to the bottom where the wrist is. Here at the bottom of the bodysuit, I also feel like this fabric is just like bunching up for some reason. So I probably have to take it in a bit more at the side. This is the second bodysuit sample. I absolutely love it so much better than the first one. It fits a lot closer to the body. So I just feel like it like goes with your curves. I do feel like the bottom still has like extra fabric. And I don't know why. So I think I'm gonna have to take it in like probably a quarter to a half an inch here at the side to get rid of that. And then the sleeves are still way too short. I'm just gonna have to add a few more inches to the bottom. This fabric stretches um, horizontally more than it does vertically. So I think that's why I can't get the length right, but I know exactly what to do and how to fix it. Now I'm gonna start working on my customer's pattern. I have all her measurements on a post-it note.
I have officially finished the second custom order and I am so happy with how the bodysuit turned out. It's so amazing. It's so beautiful. The bodysuit itself, like the main part, is form-fitting. So the top has elastic in the middle to create ruching and accentuate your bust. There is a blue satin bow and then down towards the hips. We have detachable garters. I did use gold hardware as requested by my customer. So if you open up this little clip here, you can attach stockings. Or if you don't want to wear stockings at all, you can easily remove all of these garter straps with the little gold hooks at the top. The back of the bodysuit has a thong back, so if you follow my shop and you know a lot of my designs, this design is basically my Lola top and Ramona thong converted into a bodysuit. So for these stockings, they fit at the mid thigh, they have a lace welt at the top, the lace is very stretchy. I have my customer's order all packed up. It's absolutely adorable. I am so excited for her to get this. This is what the final lace bodysuit looks like. The lace is sheer, so I put on some black tights and a black bra. The ends of the sleeves have scalloped lace edges. These garter tabs can easily be removed. I also used silver hardware for my bodysuit instead of gold hardware like my customer. Overall, I'm really happy with how the bodysuit turned out. 